What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Pitch side with Parker. And today we are here to preview some young talents from the Champions League. Players you should be keeping an eye on if you want to get an inside look at the next generation of European ballers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not a type of brother to play with. See a lot of people acting like a. Oh, yeah. Oh, ball plays on like haters. We the young kings of this generation. Oh, yeah. So I'm only going to do three in this video because I'm trying to keep it short. And as y'all probably know, my videos are always too long anyway. But the question of the day is who are your young U21 Champions League ballers that you're on the lookout for? Because this is definitely not going to be a comprehensive list. And I'm sure that some of y'all out there are better scouts than I am. So drop your comments below. Let me know who else to watch in the Champions League. And, you know, we can all become a more informed and a more fun to watch soccer community right here on Pitch Side with Park. So the first CL talent we're gonna talk about is definitely getting close to becoming a household name at this point. I mean, I think most of you that follow soccer closely will probably know who he is, but we're talking about Eduardo Camavinga. Camavinga is 17 years old. He's a French international and he plays for Rennes. He wears number 10 if you watch them and he is a center midfielder. Kamavinga usually plays pretty deep in the midfield, but he can pretty much play any role. He can play more defensive as a number six, dictate the tempo, he can go box to box, and he can definitely play as an attacking midfielder, as a number 10 as well. He's very creative, he's an incredible dribbler, and he's a decent finisher when it comes down to it as well. Kamavinga kind of made his name when he debuted for Ren at 16 years old against PSG and completely bossed that game last year. So that kind of put him on notice to everybody. And then he's had some really great moments since then as well, including on his debut for France in the last international break, he scored an overhead kick for his first senior goal for France. The dude is just a star. Like you can tell he's got that about him. He had this incredible Maisie goal as well for Ren earlier this season. I mean, the, the, the guy is electric. He's very fun to watch, left-footed player incredible passer of the ball great dribbler skillful young man as well very composed in the midfield and to be able to dictate a tempo in a top league at the age of 16 it takes a football iq that not many people have some people have compared him to like a young pogba when pogba was at juventus but the guy that always sticks out when i think of who kamavinga reminds me of is abu diaby i don't know how many of you arsenal fans will be watching this video but you'll definitely know who that is you know, he, he broke through Arsenal years ago and then kind of never got his shine because of injury. But the way that he kind of just glides on the ball and again, that tall, lanky frame, but the great composure and great dribbling and ability to just take over a game from the midfield. Kamavinga reminds me a lot of him, but hopefully, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to put any bad juju on Kamavinga. Hopefully he, he stays a little more healthy than Diaby did. You can watch Kamavinga for Ren this week against Sevilla. They're going away to Sevilla. So that's a huge game for Ren. And if he can bring his talent to that game and take over, this will be just another great mark of how far he has succeeded early in his career with Ren. The next baller to bring up is a young American player from Barcelona. And no, I'm not talking about Serginho Dest. It's Conrad De La Fuente. Conrad is just 19 years old. He's a winger for Barcelona. He can also play wing back. And he was born in Miami, the USA International. He wears number 29 if you're watching Barca. Now, Conrad hasn't actually gotten any minutes yet for Barcelona this season. However, Koeman did express an interest in using him this season, especially in cup games. So we could see him in the Champions League, especially with some rotation. You know, Barcelona just went through El Clasico, so I'm sure that they will be a little tired, a little beat up. And Conrad could definitely be an option. He's a wide man, as I mentioned before. Um, he's a pretty tricky player. I went to Vic to get the scouting report and a player comp for him, and he said he plays a little bit like Coutinho in terms of the, the skills and the quick feet, but obviously a, a wide man, and he did say he's, he's a bit pacier as well. So it would be pretty special if we got to see Conrad and Serginho Dest at the same time. The possibility of two Americans playing for Barca. Keep an eye out for this young man. And last but not least, we'll head over to Ajax, and the guy I'm going to feature is Anthony. Anthony is a right winger. He's from Brazil, left-footed player. He wears number 39 for Ajax. Now, let's be honest. He's a great young Brazilian winger. I really shouldn't have to sell you any harder than that, but if you need some more about this guy, he's a very, very tricky, very quick player, as you could expect. 
He reminds me a bit of Douglas Costa with the skills and the ability to beat a man in the real low center of gravity. Um, and in that as well, you know, he could work on his finishing a little bit. But this guy's been off to a flyer for Ajax who have just been killing people. I mean, they won 13 nil in the Eredivisie last week. But he's got six goals and four assists already in Eredivisie this season for Ajax. Uh, again, they've just been slaughtering people. But, you know, he will definitely be a big attacking option for them. And he's definitely a player to look out for. They play Atalanta this week. And as I said in my video yesterday, that's one of the games I'm looking forward to most. So that's a big away game for them. They're going to need Anthony to step up. And also, if you're watching Ajax, be sure to watch out for Gravenberg in the middle. He wears number eight. And Mohamed Kudus is another really fun young player, although he did get hurt in the last Champions League game, so I'm not sure if he will play going forward. Uh, but those are definitely two great young talents to watch as well. I mean, Ajax is a talent factory. Like, we all know that. But you always got to keep an eye on them, especially in the Champions League, to see those next young players that they are producing. So that's all for this one. I hope I gave you some players to look out for and can help guide you into a little bit more enjoyable watching in the next couple days with the Champions League. As I said before, let me know down in the comments, who else are you keeping an eye on? What other young players are you expecting to step up in the Champions League this year? You know, inform everybody. Let's give the community more things to watch for. So anyway, that's all for this video. Like it up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on the post notifications if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.